Hi guys, this is Scrivilly again with another fountain pen review and today we are going to have a look at a fountain pen by the German brand, Dip brand Diplomat. And uh, the pen we are going to look at today is uh, the Diplomat Aero. And uh, I have it in black, it says fine nib here, but I actually do have a medium nib. Uh, the Diplomat Aero is a quite new fountain pen or rather new fountain pen. It's out since about two years or two and a half years by now. And uh, I can already say that I'm really a huge fan of that pen. But first things first, let's have a look at the packaging because I have to say, I mean, like I already say that the pen costs around 85 to 100 euros, depending on where you find it. And just this package already for a pen under 100 euro is actually really spectacular. Um, Diplomat, the brand since 19, uh, 1922, um, the logo of Diplomat is the so-called ink flower and the ink flower is a symbol of peaceful relations because Diplomat, um, the, the, the name of the company is actually, it's actually named after diplomats, right? So diplomats relations and, um, yeah, the ink flower is also here on the packaging and uh, it says the website diplomat-pen.de for Deutschland, Germany on the other side. And uh, as we go through the packaging for a little bit, um, be aware that this is uh, under 100 euro pen. So I, I, I find that cardboard sleeve or wrapper or box here already looks pretty good. If we take the box out here, um, we have the same appearance, the ink flower logo diplomat since 1922. This here is actually metal or aluminum or whatever. So, I mean, this is really spectacular. And um, uh, the lower the lower bed or box in which the pen actually lays then is some kind of uh, structured cloth. I mean, this packaging, if you ask me, is, is really spectacular. So we take that metal thing, you can already hear that. We take that metal thing away as well. And out comes this very, very nice box here in which you will then find the pen that I already have here and we'll look at the pen in a minute, the arrow in black um, and you will find a converter that also comes with a pen and if you take that bed here out that also has the Diplomat logo on it also looks really really nice. I mean again the pen is under a hundred euros so I mean this is spectacular. Um, you see, I'm a bit biased. I'm really a fan of that pen. Comes with two blue ink cartridges. I've not, or are they black? I don't know. I've not used them because I've used a supplied converter. And then it comes with a small brochure with all sorts of information. I have a couple of page markers in here because there are two or three things that I wanted to point out here. Um, Let's get here first. Um, uh, it talks about the nib width here and what it essentially says, and I find that is really good, that within four weeks of you purchasing the fountain pen, if you, um, for example, took a medium nib, but you prefer a fine and you find it out while writing, you can actually, with your warranty card, um, send the nib back to Diplomat customer service and they'll, free of charge, exchange the nib to uh, the one that you would prefer. So, I mean, like, I find this really cool. You can just buy the pen, try out the nib, and if it's not fitting you, you send it back and you get the nib you want. And talking about nibs, um, uh, the arrow comes with steel nibs. I have a steel nib and this is a number six Jovo nib. It's from Berlin, it's excellent. And uh, But you can also get a 14K gold nib, I believe. Um, so what more do we have here? Um, another thing that, because of course, Diplomat, right, is for diplomats, they travel a lot by air. So the pen is actually made and tested for air travel and transport in an airplane. And then um, last but not least, there are some filling instructions and cleaning instructions and all that kind of stuff in here. Alrighty, um, so let's jump right into the pen itself. Um, the design of the pen, I mean, actually, yeah, I said I have the black one here. It's also available in silver and I do believe they also do have it in brown. It's uh, sort of a cigar shaped pen, but then actually, and I have my iPad here, I just need to unlock it. The design of the pen is actually... Um, this is the Diplomat website, is actually the one of an airship. And those airships are, um, they're called Zeppelins. They, um, 
And there's a, a town in southern Germany called Friedrichshafen where they have a Zeppelin museum and where supposedly the first Zeppelin airship also flew or was constructed or whatever. And actually, um, in the beginning, the construction name of that pen was also Zeppelin, but then due to name rights and all that, the name of the pen was changed to Aero, which I find uh, marketing-wise is also um, a little bit more... Yeah, it's a little bit better than Zeppelin, so Aero is really nice, but so the design is essentially the shape of an airship. And uh, you can really see that here. The pen is made of anodized aluminum, so it is pretty lightweight for being a quite a large pen. It has those uh, those those things here that you can see, which is like uh, really, really nice. Um, it has the Diplomat Ink Flower logo here on, 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 on top of the cap. Can, you can see it, I guess. Yeah, it's a bit difficult to show, but you can see it. Uh, then it says on this, uh, it's not really a center band. It's just like, a, it, it's it's not a laser engraving. It's sort of a print. And that's also the only thing that you could, if you would really want to complain about, like really be nitpicking finicky, uh, complain about something with that pen made in Germany diplomat. This is like sort of printed on the pen. And if I come really close to the camera, you can see that the print is not a hundred percent you know precision work but i mean that is really the only thing that you could maybe complain about the pen otherwise this is a really excellent pen and it's something that doesn't bother me at all so let's look at the pen a close-up as said here you have the cap then we have this clip up here the clip is really really springy it's not tight whatsoever so there's no problem um transporting that or like sliding that into your short pocket that will work really really well and then you have um the barrel which also has this airship or cigar shape and then it is at the end it it really tapers down and uh, you also have like some kind of a, yeah, it looks almost like the tip of a, the graphite tip of a pencil or something like that. So, but actually, um, you know, you have that color here and you have that color here. So you have it on both sides. And I think this is, uh, it's a nice, it's a nice design feature. It's really nice. Then um, when uncapping the pen, um, in the beginning, the cap sits really, really, really tight on the pen. But um, so, but, so you got to, pop of the cap like this here otherwise like you you're gonna really have to use a lot of effort but as you use the pen for a while and i've been using that pen on a daily basis for about two months now um i mean the the cap comes off very very easily so that sort of loosens up a little bit then inside the cap um you have of course this inner inner plastic thing that will prevent the nib from drying out and that works really really well um i mean I've not had the pen sitting for a while. Yeah, once I let it sit for about a week to test that and uh, I had no startup issues whatsoever. You just pick the pen up and the pen is going to write again. Then as said, I have a number. I mean, like all pens come with a number six Jowo nib. Um, I have the steel nib here. It has again, uh, has a quite large number six, number six nib feed, of course. Um, and I find the nib quite beautiful. Um, has the ink flower on it, says Diplomat since 1922 and M4 medium. You can actually see the camera reflecting, the iPhone camera reflecting here in the camera. Then uh, you have a quite large section. We'll do a writing sample in a bit. I mean, I look at the design of the pen. I mean, like, I really like the way this looks. I find this is like just sort of like it's perfect proportions. I really, really like the way that looks. Um, it's, a, it's a medium weight pen. It's not too uh, heavy. It's not too lightweight really really comfortable to hold this section here uh, i don't know if that is also anodized aluminium or if that is stainless steel or something like that it has a little bit of a structure here i don't know if you can hear that very very minimal structure though provides an excellent grip no issues holding that pen whatsoever i like that it has a quite large section which um tapers down a little bit so you have a little bit of thicker diameter up here a little bit of thinner diameter down there so you can actually really try to find your own grip and then that step down the barrel here is not sharp at all so if you would like or if you prefer to hold your pen quite high you could also hold it up here which um, I don't do I hold my pens down here but you could technically do that and the size of the pen I'll do a size comparison also in a bit for my hand is really nice it lays it lays really nice and comfortable in my head I really really like the feel of that pen 
Where did I put the cap? I put the cap here. Let's see. Posting. You can post the pen since it's anodized aluminum and it's just plastic inside the cap here. The pen doesn't become top heavy. You can really use the pen posted. But to me personally, it becomes uh, a little bit too long, but not top heavy, not top heavy because it's aluminum, but it becomes a bit too long. I'm perfectly, it posts pretty securely. The cap just doesn't pop off or fly off if I wheel around with the pen a little bit, so there's no problem here. Um, but to me personally, uh, the pen is actually totally fine. Um, unpost it. Let's open it up and, and already when I mean the pen is machined perfectly. I mean those threads here, they are just like, I mean, this is really precision cut. Um, I don't know like let's if you can see that, but when I screw that pen in, I mean this is just when I screw it together, everything fits perfectly. There is nothing that um, wiggles around or whatsoever. This is just really, really, really precision. German precision work, pre precision machining. Very, very lightweight, that pen body here. As I said, it's aluminum. It, I don't know how much it weighs, but it is it is really lightweight. However, it's quite thick. I don't know if you can see that here. Uh, it's quite thick, but it's very, very lightweight. And then it comes, of course, with the Diplomat converter. Uh, there's not much of Caveco gray ink left in here, but I think it should do for a writing sample. And uh, the size of the converter is actually quite large. It holds a quite generous amount of ink. Okay, so that's that. Now um, let's do a short size comparison of the pen. As always, I don't measure it. I just do a size comparison. Normally as a reference pen, I use a Lamy Safari as I will do here. Um, so when putting the pens side by side, the Diplomat Aero is only a tad shorter than the Lamy Safari. Uncap the pens. And let's see how the picture changes, if it does at all. I'd say it's roughly the same picture, the Safari a tad longer. And uh, once we post the pens, let's see what happens. Mm, same thing, the Lamy Safari now even a little longer. So I think it's fair to say um, that if you're okay with the size of a Lamy Safari, you're also going to be okay with the size of the Diplomat Arrow. Um, so before we hop into a writing sample, let me see. Um, take a look at my notes. I don't think that there was anything else that I wanted to talk about with that pen. So um, I think we can now hop into the writing sample. And for that, I'll shift the camera downwards a little bit and also zoom in. Um, what I can already say is that uh, the pen writes very very wet. It's a it's 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 really a gusher. It's a it's a really it's a really wet writer. Um, you can see that like this is like really super 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 wet. Um, it's extremely pleasant to write with that pen. I have to say this is one of the smoothest steel nibs that I have ever written with. Um, let me write a little bit something. Diplomat arrow. This is a Jowo number six steel nib. It's medium, medium. Very, very smooth writing experience, I have to say. Um, it's a little bit on the a thicker side of, uh, on the wider side of medium. Um, I've written finer mediums, definitely. Um, let's see, line variation. There is nothing much that you get. This is a pretty rigid nib. Not much line variation. You see the nice shading of the Caveco gray. Uh, what's remarkable is the back side of the nib. Back side. Oh. Yeah, now it starts drying up. That is probably because of the low ink level. But the uh, reverse writing normally works really really well you get a really extra fine line here um it's also very smooth the reverse writing um all in all this is a really really pleasant writing experience as said is one of the it's one of the um, best of the best steel nibs that i've ever used i really like writing with that pen a lot um so all in all, I'd say this is really an excellent pen for under 100 euro. I'm not sure. Um, there's not much better out there that you can get for that money, um, considering how well that pen is made. 
Um, so I think that's all that there is to say about that pen. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope uh, it helped you. And I'll see you at the next review. Bye-bye.